You command the zombies to stop running around and stand still. They obey immediately. <laughs> oh, yes! You march with your zombie army to take over Canada. Unfortunately, the Canadian military has superior fire. <laughs> oh, no! Welcome to the Node Imaginarium, where anything can happen. That's right, we're playing more AI, AI Dungeon. Dungeon. Funny enough, we're featured on the website now because of our uh, crazy, crazy games. But anyways, go ahead and try it if you haven't played it yet. It's free and fun. Support them on Patreon. We have a new participant with us today, and that is Ren. Hey, I've played a little bit on my phone, but I've yet to actually sit down on the couch with you guys and play a full game. The one thing everyone knows about Ren is how creative of a mind he has. <laughs> There's one special thing we're going to be doing in this video. Many people have asked, why don't you shoot a video with a story inspired by AI Dungeon? So in this video, as we tell the story, you're going to see the cinematic interpretation of it in real time next to it. All right, let's live these dreams for real. We are about to enter a zombie-filled apocalypse. First, select your character. Soldier, survivor, or scientist? Ooh, you know my answer. Scientist. Scientist. Enter your character's name. Um, that's obviously Mr. Spectacles. <laughs> Mr. Spectacles. <laughs> you are Mr. Spectacles, a scientist trying to survive in a world filled with infected zombies. You have a backpack and a solar powered tablet. You pound your fists on the table, angry that you still haven't found a cure to the infection. You turn to your assistant and ask her if she has any ideas. She tells you there is a large abandoned military base nearby. The place was once used for testing new weapons of war, but now it's completely overrun by the undead. Ask her why she lied to you about the remaining clean water that we had. Ooh. You know, just go right into the character drama. Zombie movies are always just about people getting little spats that are totally unrealistic and, you know, the end of the world. I didn't lie to you. I just wanted to get out of here, she says angrily. Why would I do something like that? It wasn't my fault. What was her fault? Tell her it's her fault that the other scientists are dead. It's not your fault. I'm sorry. It was an accident. We, we, we were testing this thing and we dropped something down the drain. And when we came back up, all those guys were gone. <laughs> what did she drop down the drain? Yeah. Uh, we, we need to get to the root cause here before we get to the military base. <laughs> well, I was testing some sort of drug or medicine that could help people fight off the infection. But then again, maybe it doesn't work at all. Give her the drug and kick her outside into the zombie horde. You inject her with the medicine and push her outside into the zombie horde and close the doors. The next day, you find her dead body lying in the middle of the street. Her face is horribly mangled and her eyes are staring blankly ahead as if they never saw you coming. So okay. that rules out the medicine, it doesn't work. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we gotta get to complex. the military facility where they used head, to test weapons. Head to the military testing facility? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, v via the armored truck? You hop in your truck and drive to the military testing facility. You pull over near the military compound and open fire <laughs> on the first group of zombies. <laughs> They fall to your bullets, but soon enough more come pouring out from behind cover. Soon after that, you notice several military trucks pulling away and driving towards you. Driving towards, towards us? Though. Yes. You wave your arms around wildly and start yelling at the top of your lungs. The soldiers stop shooting, and one of them walks over to you. He looks at your arm, and his eyes widen slightly before he speaks. Sir, do you need medical assistance? Is he implying that we've been bitten? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You might become a zombie. Yeah, I think I got bit. Uh-oh! Oh no! Uh -oh. What happened? Oh no! Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, our options. Cut our arm off, shoot ourselves in the head, see what happens. Ask him to shoot us in the head. I don't want to get shot just yet. How well, much time do we have? We, we're scientists. We can solve these problems. Well, good thing we have an armored truck full of weapons. Drive your truck through the line of soldiers and into the base so that you can search for a cure. You hop in your truck and as you drive through the gates, you hear gunfire and explosions going on. You turn around to see hordes of zombies running towards the gate. It's too late though. The gates slam shut and lock, trapping you inside. Oh, so we've great. gotten through, we're at the base. Nice. Great. We did it. So we gotta find that cure, otherwise we're gonna turn into um, a zombie. Head to the research laboratory. You reach the research laboratory. You walk along the corridor and eventually reach an elevator. And as you enter, you feel like something's wrong. Look up. Look up. You look up and see dozens of glowing red eyes staring oh. back at you. You realize what this is. 
a virus. The zombies are infected with some sort of disease that has turned them into mindless killing machines. It all hits. <laughs> Wait, what is a zombie again? <laughs> I'm, you so know, this is... I'm just gonna make a, a bold move here. We're gonna cut the cables, cut the elevator cables and fall to the bottom of the shaft to kill the zombies. You quickly cut the elevator cables and jump down to the bottom of the stairs. You watch as hundreds of zombies rush up the stairs while others run past you and into the next room. Uh, uh huh. <laughs> that quickly diverted. Well, maybe I, it's because they know that we're already I, becoming a zombie. Yeah. I think we should end it. Leap off the top of the research laboratory. Why don't we destroy, blow up the whole research facility because it's there's full of zombies. There's billions of zombies in the whole planet. It's a zombies world now. But we gotta end ourselves before we become one of them. Make peace with the zombies? Make Try talking peace. to the zombies? Try uh, reasoning with the zombie horde. All right, all right, calm down. We need to talk about this. <laughs> Yell that. Get the zombies to stop running around. <laughs> that. <laughs> you command the zombies to stop running around and stand still. They obey immediately. <laughs> oh, yes! The <laughs> zombie horde control powers. Okay. <laughs> Order all the zombies to jump off a cliff, to, to rip off their own heads, to go to sleep forever. To a giant dance routine. You command the zombies to dance. They do so, but they're just doing it for show. <laughs> <laughs> Their hearts are in, huh? Mm. Order the zombies to build you a house. Order the zombies to find a cure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you tell the zombies if they don't find a cure for you right now, you'll kill them all. They comply immediately and leave. Wait for them to return with a cure. Wait for the zombies. <laughs> Man, you got bit by a zombie. It gave you ability just to command zombies. Wow. You wait for the zombies to return with a cure. The next day, you wake up from your nap <laughs> and see there's no cure at all. All they brought back was some sort of headache medicine. <laughs> <laughs> they just came back with some Tylenol? Oh, yeah, so now we realize well, <laughs> the, the, how well these zombie powers work. They're still dumb zombies. At least AI Dungeon is consistent with how good zombies are. Use my zombie army to invade another country. Which country? Let's go with Canada. Yeah. Canada. It's, we're, we're getting into like risk now, I love it. It's, this is good. <laughs> you march with your zombie army to take over Canada. Unfortunately, uh -oh. the Canadian military has a superior firepower. <laughs> oh no! And you're quickly overwhelmed by them. Your forces are wiped out. <laughs> <laughs> no! no, Canada! Canada? Who would have thought? Ah, uh, well, they got good. Borders, I guess. And, uh, um, strong borders. Ask walls. the Canadian soldiers if all the zombies are dead. They say yes, but you still feel sick. I think we're the last zombie. I think we're the last zombie. I don't know if it's going to ever tell us that, but it's pretty clear. So here's the question. We can end it here. We can try to sleep into Canadian society and infect Canada. Or, since we're the last zombie, we could truly end it. Stand on the cliff and watch the sunset one last time before you kill the last zombie, comma which is yourself. Oh no, this is jacked up. I, don't, I thought this was going so well, I don't want to end it. You got it, man. All the zombies are dead. We lost our army. We're the only zombie. It's over. Left. We're a zombie king without zombie followers. I'm, let's, let's make sure. They say yes, but let's verify it. Go to the top of a high tower and see if there are indeed no more zombies left. Okay. You climb a tall tower to see if there are any zombies left. There aren't. Oh. So you decide to stay here until the government figures out what's wrong with you. Not gonna happen. Not no. waiting for the government? No. no. Oh no. This is it? This is it? We're the last zombie. We're the last zombie. Was this the cure the whole time? <laughs> this is this the cure! The the cure. cure. Oh. We are the cure! All right, man. <laughs> Eliminate the last zombie by throwing yourself off the tower. Step Fall off to your fate. the top of the tower and fall to my death while whispering. I was the cure. You step off the top of the tower and fall to your death while whispering, I was the cure. This whole time. I guess we're falling still. <laughs> Continue <we're>... falling. <laughs> Continue <laughs> falling. <laughs> uh, until. Just, con just like continue falling. <laughs>
continue falling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you continue falling towards oblivion as you hear a voice in your head. It's not working. <laughs> uh, wait, wait for. Wait, <laughs> wait for, until <laughs> I hit the ground. I hit the ground. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really tall tower. <laughs> this is a, I, I, I picked out a very tall tower for us. Don't you worry. A man wearing a lab coat <laughs> comes running down the stairs yelling at you to stop. Stop! <laughs> he tells you that he needs to get rid of these people who are causing problems with his experiments. Tell him. Tell him. him you have. You have no time to talk. He says he can help, but it would be better if you went away permanently. <laughs> Collide with the ground. Collide with the ground at 500 miles an hour. All right, collide with the ground at 500 miles an hour. Here we go. Will this do it? Will this finally end the pain? You collide with the ground at 500 miles per hour. The impact causes a huge explosion, which destroys the entire area around you. You are killed instantly. You died, game over. Finally! <laughs> Dude. Boom. <laughs> All right, we're yeah, good. Yeah, you're right. The zombie story was so funny. That was that was the ending. That was you like you were the cure the whole time. <laughs> oh my you god, were the, you were the whole time. That was zombie. so funny. Oh my yeah, god. We had a zombie army. Canada wiped them out. You were the last one alive. You jumped off the tower, and then as you're falling, your internal voice whispers oh things to you on the oh. way down. Whew. That was a that was a that was a doozy, boys. That was yeah. really good. I'm doing an experiment. But if you like this video, make sure you go to Node, this channel right here. Check out all the other AI Dungeon videos. They're really cool. They're really weird. I'm going to go do my experiment now. Subscribe.